Well, what do we got here? We got a package from HRP. If you don't know what that means, it means we got a bunch of goodies from HPI. So let's see what we got in there. First things first, new fuel tank, and new packaging. No more going on eBay and spending $60 for a fuel tank, guys. Or hoarding junk. Brand new ones, $16. Hell yeah. See we got? There's a new fuel bottle, guys. To replace this one. This is my old Ofna one. I've had this one since day one. This thing is nearly 10 years old. Can't get them anymore. saw this and I thought, 10 bucks? Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Got something wrapped up in a bag here. We have just some replacement gaskets. I was out, now we got some spares. Next up we have these plugs for the receiver box. Cause as you can tell, you look way up there on my Savage. So we got some extras. And last we have this one-way bearing for the transmission. I lost drive and this is the culprit. So we're gonna replace it. And finally we got something to try out. More like an experiment. Let's see. We have the HPI F 5.9. This engine originally came out in 2018. I was always curious about this engine, I always wanted it, but they sold out, I couldn't get one, and finally there's more. This is batch two I believe, it could be wrong, but once they became available again, I got it with a coupon, it was like $170. So what you get in the box is the engine, instruction manual, and a brand new air filter for a Savage. So that's pretty sweet. If you guys are wondering, you can bolt this engine any big block platform you got. It doesn't have to be a Savage. Don't be afraid to hit the instruction manual on these. HPR are known for having exceptional manuals. They are awesome. I think you guys are itching to see what's inside as much as I am. Let's take it apart.
let's have a look at all the parts inside this HPIF 5.9. Here's the block. I must say it's a pretty, pretty thick block here. The fins stick out quite a bit. That's just to get all kinds of air into the engine. I'm, I got a theory of this engine is going to be a pretty good workhorse. We got all that cooling to keep her extra cool. Next, we got the crank. Nothing too special about the crank. Uh, it's not drilled and filled. It's actually a fairly small window. No crazy cuts, but hey, what do you want for an RTR? Here's the piston. I must say, this is a pretty huge piston for a nitro engine. Um, yeah, I think this engine's going to be a, a stump puller. Here's the sleeve. Same thing with the crank, nothing crazy. The ports, if I can get it to focus. The ports are actually not too bad on this. Not too bad. Got the carburetor here. It is a short, low-speed needle, and it's a 8.5 mil opening. And the rest of that in the corner is just your regular pull-start setup. Nothing's changed there. <laughs> Guess what, guys? The pull-start eliminator backplate off of your dynamite RTR engines bolts right onto this. No problems at all. So if you wanted to eliminate the pull start and run this on a buggy or a druggy, you can. Sweet. We also have the underhead with a R5 glow plug. Standard, nothing turboed here. And our cooling head. This is a sweet, plain, but sweet looking head. Now that the engine's back together, what do you want to see us do with it? Do you want us to do a shootout between the uh, HPI engine, the HPI 25 F4.6 versus the 5.9? Or another idea I had was we get a second Savage. We get a second F5.9, put it together. I think that would be pretty sweet. What else do you want us to do with this? Let us know. Oh, there's one last thing in the box. What do we got? Buyer's Guide. New Savage. Wow. Look at them all.